So as you can see here, the KO new controller MC8 is incredibly good. At the price point and the design, this is probably the gateway for people who play games on the Xbox PlayStation to hop on to real life radio control car racing or fun racing without much of a barrier. You don't have to adapt to the traditional radio control transmitter and receiver system. Basically, you hop on to this this is basically the same, pretty much what you use to play games on Xbox, PlayStation and amongst other brands of home entertainment computer game system. So I'd like to say a big thank you to people at KO Propo Japan for beginning such a project and investing in such a design is incredible. Of course it can be further improved but at the price point it's good to race. You can win races with this anytime. There's no problem. And the beautiful thing is, it's got eight channels. Look at that. We try to zoom in there. Eight channels. All right. Eight channels for being um, on the joystick A, B, C, D. And then E, F, G, H are just uh, toggle buttons. Right. So we just show you one of those here. Okay, so that's channel G. So what I've done here is, of course, um, for car basic, uh, we just need um, one for the ESC, one for the steering servo, and one for my fan there to cool the motor, right? And then probably one more for the transponder if you go racing or you want to know your lap time when you're at the track circuit. So this is a very very good package, I hope you catch on um, because I think the beautiful part is it's very portable, very small um, just to give you an idea of how small, I guess you probably know it's like half a car length like two tires, this is really small, you don't have to bring a bulky radio to the track you know, packing it, it's no point, you know, sometimes we are not up to the like maybe if you're at a pro level, I'm not too sure, you know, pro drivers have this little tweak here and there that you want to program into your transmitter. But I believe if the market market does catch on, I mean, it's all about the market money, right? If you have money for the investment into further R&D to build based on this size, I'm sure they can pack in a lot of punch, you know, a lot of features. Uh, if you want display, they can put it in. But now I think this is a pioneer project of uh, bringing over the home game controller to the radio control car scene if you may you could use it for flying I, I believe you can you can use it for other things you know so i would say sorry about that this is really a good very good controller that's come into the market um it's going at a hundred I think is a uh, hundred. Let me see. Um, sorry, yeah, about. I'm just trying to figure out. You check out the price. I think it's hundred thousand. Maybe let me see. Uh, sorry, ten thousand. Ten thousand yen, right? Retailing. So convert it to what you have in your country and all the delivery, uh, freight charges, whatever operating costs that each country and city may have. But it's the price point, the portability. Incredible. All right, look at this. Okay, I'm not making money on this. Nobody's paying me, but I just, uh, I'm a guy like, um, you know, if something is really this good, we gotta, we gotta help it grow, man. We gotta support these people. KO, right, it's really small, portable. Uh, you just need four batteries at the back. It's a case, right, it doesn't come off. It's got a little screw there. I'll try to get a focus here, okay. So yeah, the ergonomics is really small. Uh, I like the, the size of it. So this is what I'm looking forward to bringing to the track soon. And we'll see what happens at the track. I just tried out outside our shop here. Um, a little bit of drifting around with this old tires on a team associated B64D. Still a very competitive platform, I have to say. Kudos to them, the legends. And of course, uh, we're running a KO 
double here as well, the BX X2. Alright. And then uh, um, we have this Aeromax stock model 13.5, 13.5, Hobbywing Generation 1 XR10 Pro. Okay, so this is the one that hasn't got the uh, reverse polarity protection, thanks to them as well. Very good controller. So I have the uh, settings, the power band, you can do all that on your ESC. There's no point to have it on your transmitter, in a way. You know, of course, if you pay more, you get a transmitter with all the functionality. But looking at this, you know, you get a basic, handy, highly portable, easy to drive with controller. And you put all the settings that you need for the electronic speed control, the ESC, into the whatever you have, like a hobby ring here, easily programmable. All right, the battery from Aeromax as well, 7.6 HV battery, shorty pack. Good to go. Easy. And look at that, the antenna is short. Okay, but we have, I think on paper, a 50 meters range for this set. So I would imagine most of the tracks, a good number of those tracks running 110 classes. Um, not sure about Nitro, because I think in Europe or the US they have really huge tracks. Um, so I'm not sure about the distance there. But in general, I think most of the 110 tracks, 50 meters in the radial direction, no issue, right? You have no controlling issue, and this is also running on the 2.4 gigahertz um, bandwidth binding system, right? Uh, I think initiated by Sex Spectrum um, years ago. So there's no interference issue. Short antenna, incredible for electric. Uh, not sure about gas cars, nitro cars, maybe there may be some issue because of the short antenna, I'm not too sure, haven't tried it out. Um, in general, we have a longer uh, antenna for the gas car because of the, the height of the hissing interference, you know, uh, weakening the, the transmission signal because of a lot of uh, metal on the car and the height of it. But we have, as you can see, on the EP cars, there is no such issue. So anyhow, we keep it short and sweet. Um, for about eight, nine minutes of video. Hopefully you like it. For those who haven't checked it out, this is cool. Um, going straight, accelerate a bit to the left. Doesn't matter. It's really easy to control. The feel is incredible, right? Resolution of the power band on the throttle is basically um, more or less just dependent on your ESC. The ESC, if it has a good throttle resolution range, and uh, yeah, the, that's what you get. As you can notice, if you hear the pitch. Alright, so you can hear the pitch very smooth because the hobby wing is very smooth. Signal from the KO is up to speed to match up with the hobby wing controller. Um, again, it's incredible. This is just so good. So putting on the cover, easy, short antenna, no problem. That's just what we need. I think the old school guys might want to have a, uh, an antenna just for retro sake. But hey, we're going no antenna. We're going just new age, man. This is new age. All right. Thank you very much. And out. Still to the next time. Have a good one, guys.